Oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's for Carl. Does this do anything? And it's getting late, and I'm only playing one more level anyway. So let's go. This is To Do or To Do Not by Macho Man. Uno mas. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> oh my god. So. 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 There's a thwomp on the right side of the screen that's doing stuff and things. What is the purpose of the thwomp on the right side of the screen? What do the donuts have to do with this? Do or do not? <laughs> what do the donuts have to do with this? What? <laughs> Excuse me. Why it didn't it do it? Is it because there's like a billion munchers on screen? And like, maybe, um, like this was a thing in many old Mario games where like you'll have a texture like a donut and when you stand on it, like when it's just there, it's just a texture, but when you stand on it, it becomes a sprite. And so maybe that causes like a sprite enemy limit overload type of thing. So I think you need all four. Like, hold on, if I have this one down and this one down, it's, oh yeah, you can see it try to spawn and it doesn't. Okay, so the, the thwomp is like your little hint. Wow. So it doesn't work with one of them, does it? It has to be two. No, just one. Just one is enough. Wow. Huh. Okay, I want to try something real quick. If we were to eliminate one of the munchers. So I'm assuming that now that I've erased that one, I'm just going to get bodied. Yep. <laughs> That's super cool. Yep. But if I lower two, then does it work again? Or do they not... Yeah, see, but then I, if I lower both of them, now it still works again. Oh, that's really cool. So it's just, that is the, that is the limit, however many that is. Cool. Bruno Moss. All right, Tic Tac Bomb Squad. Oh, we can try without the help? Okay. Well, I needed it to get the, um, to get the thing, right? Um, bomb. Do I want bomb? What's you? Nothing. Bomb. Um. 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 <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> that was almost something. I think I might have an idea. Is this gonna not blow it up if I hit it right when it blows up? Oh my god. <laughs> well, yo, let's fucking go. <laughs> hey, damn, I'm doing really good. I didn't know about that one. I knew about the other ones, but I did not know about that one. It just did what I thought it was going to do. I wonder how tight the timing is. So, um, in case anybody missed that, it should have blown the block up, but I hit the block, and I guess it bounces up and changes its hitbox, or maybe it's just indestructible while it's in the, like, coin animation. Um, the game is totally broken. You can push it out of the explosion area. Yeah, that's really cool. Huh. Bruno Moss. Bruno. Okay. Wait, that's a fucking, hold on. This must be a troll level. That's gotta be a fucking troll level. <laughs> uh, whatever. It's not actually a troll level. Okay. All right, fuck it. Let's go. It is time for Bruno Moss. With the name like that. How can we not do it? Let's go. <laughs> Carl's shiny box. Woo, shiny! Hey, fuck off. Oh. 
I'm not supposed to be here, am I? <laughs> All right, we fit the shiny and got in the box. Great. Can I get these? I feel like I've got to be able to get these. Can I not get this? How can I not get that? Maybe duck? No. I can't get it. Um, we can go over here. Oh, no shinies for Carl. Does this do anything? Oh, uh, what do I do with this sprang? Wait, no, I can't do anything with that. Maybe if I, oh, I actually have an idea. If I put the sprang right here, maybe I can get up here fast enough to, oh, I don't understand why I can't collect one of these. I don't fucking, know. wait, no, I get it. Maybe if I do that and then that, I don't get it. Yeah, that is fucking it. No, that was actually it. I fucking did something. Let's go. What did that do for me? <laughs> what did that do for me? Oh, I think I get it. I'm supposed to hit that and then, um, okay, I think I get it. Yes. So then I can break the block on top of the vine. Then I can hit the vine from below. And then I can vine creep into the wall to get the fire flower. Then I can use the fire flower to question mark, question mark, question mark. We'll solve that when we get to it. All right, got it. Nice. Nice. You stay here, Mr. Sprang. We'll get sprung together later. We do this. We do that. We creep into the wall and get that. I can't get any more of these, right? I don't think I can get this one. Yeah. What can we do with the fire flower? Can I hit... Or, sorry, with the... F what can I do with this that I couldn't do before? I, like, I feel like I need to hit that bomb, but I don't know how to hit that bomb. What else I can do with the spring? Oh. It looks like a bad idea to go up here. Probably a bad idea to try to go up here. Is there some way to get that? What? I can't hit the bomb! Can I hit the bomb? Oh, was the block low? How am I supposed to hit this bomb? Fuck you guys. Oh wait, I can do it with the... Oh, if I got on this and then got on that and then did that if I did like that kind of a thing. Oh, okay, I could have I think I can get it with the um with the sprang. Oh I can get out of the car box. Oh! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I can get out of the Okay, look, my idea was better. My idea look at this, look at how look at how much better my idea was. My idea was a lot better than your idea, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is bad. Uh, uh, okay. My idea was so much better. <laughs> All right. We can do this. We can do that. But what else? Do we need to, like, hit a power. Oh, we need to fly away to victory. <gasps> we need to fly away to victory is what we need to do. Oh, it even has a fly away to victory section. Wait, I need to get in there. How do I get in there? How do I get in there? Hold on, and this isn't gonna do anything for me. I don't know why I'm doing this. Wait a minute. Uh, 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 <laughs> hey, there's a block here! I don't know how that helps me though. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, what can we do with the block? What else do we need? I don't actually know what we need. What does this do for us? We need to get into there. We need to kill the muncher. Now we have a P-switch. Maybe I should just hit the P-switch and see what happens. Oh god. Dude, I wanna, I wanna like block myself in here. That's gonna be so much more fun. Dude, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's hit this fucking P-switch. Oh shit, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> shit! <laughs> Mistakes were made! <laughs> that wasn't it! <laughs> that wasn't it! <laughs> I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. <laughs> oh god, if that went down that pit, I would have lost my mind. What can I do with this peace watch? If I could collect any of these, would I even want to? I don't think so. I think I've got everything I need. What do I do? Ugh. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Nailed it! Nailed it! 
Jesus fucking Christ, dude. There might be a way. So what I was thinking was, well, I can't get hit anyway. No, I can get hit. I can get hit on the muncher. I was trying to think if there was some way to, um... <laughs> Whoa, what? Can you actually- Wait, you can actually get out of that?! You can actually fucking get out of that?! Holy shit, dude. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Is this one of those glitches where you put P-switches and springs and cape them and it, like, goes through shit? Because if so, I might need help. Um... My plan is not gonna work, though. Hitting these doesn't do anything, right? I don't think hitting this is gonna do it. Oh, it does! Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I think I get it. Maybe I get it. Hold on, can I hit this one? I can't hit these, right? Or can I? Can I hit this? No, I can't hit that one. If I could hit that one, I could do it. Um, I'm blind. Probably fucking blind. What do I do? Where do I go? How come it doesn't hit? Oh, because those can't float, I guess. Oh, well, anyway, it's probably ripped. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what I need to do. It's what I tried to do twice and I just failed to do. It's got, what I'm trying to do has got to work. So, uh, I'll explain it when I get back over there. Well, basically what I'm trying to do is use, because the P-switch can, like, block you, I'm trying to use it to block me so that I can jump through the bottom to get to the conveyor. And the reason I want to get to the conveyor is the conveyor, um, will let me fly away to victory. So, I think that that actually should work. I just ex executed it very poorly twice. I don't think I need the spring anymore. There's probably some other... Uh, so, what the other thing I was thinking is like, if I caped one of these fucking things, and it like slowly drifted down, I could run down there as small Mario, then recollect a new cape while on the conveyor. But yeah, I think it's just throw this up and not be dumb. And then when the, see, when this thing, when this thing comes back, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. That was actually really easy, I'm just dumb. Okay. Uh, we can probably hit that. Okay, there we go. There we go. Throwing it up was all I needed to do. Yay! Yay! In there. Bruno Mas. Hot backshot action, yo. It sounds pretty hot. Let's get in there. It works in spikes are small, and you don't actually partially clip into the wall. Oh, okay, so if you didn't have spikes, then it would not work like that. That's why I was confused. Die. <laughs> okay. Don't go down there. Um, so we have a key that we need to get. Uh, let's see what's in the pipe. B, Y, Z. Oh, I suppose I should try it without the hint. What? What? <laughs> what? B, Y, Z. B, that's jump, fireball, and spin. What are you my, what the fuck am I doing? Z. You can't tell me what to do. Where does it want me to push that? What am I doing? Like, what's the goal? <laughs> I don't know what the goal is. What is the goal? Oh my god, that's the goal, isn't it? Whoa. Oh, I get it. I think. What the fuck? I went too far down. I did it once. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't understand like the right combination to push them in. I don't know if I push them at the same time. Hold on. This thing says it's if it's B then B at B Y Z. Okay. So maybe I am pushing them in the wrong order. Whoa, that's weird. That's so just it like shoots the fireball like fucking backwards or something. What the fuck? That's so weird. That's such a weird motion. Wow, he's like fucking got the crazy ass tricks. Yeah, it like shoots out of his butt. Huh. Can't do it again. Can't do it again. How's that not it? Alright, BYZ. There it is. I don't know why I'm so bad at this. There it is. Okay, I think I was pushing them too fast, actually. Well, that's 
That's something. <laughs> that is a really, really weird technique. Anyway, I don't know. It's like when you when you do when you do a spin while you're shooting a fireball, shit happens. <laughs> Shit happens. I don't know exactly what that shit is, but shit happens. Uh, the intended way is to stand at the edge, look left, and do the trick. Oh, really? My strat was cheese? The twirl makes the fireball be fired from Mario's back. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's what it looked like it was doing, so I still kind of did it. Look left and do the trick. Wait, okay, let me try it. Let me try Oh, okay, so you can do it standing... Oh, I, I'm looking the wrong way. Oh, I get it, I get it. I'm looking the wrong way. Wait, 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 wait. What the? Okay, so the fireball, like, comes from further back when you do this. Whoa, that's so weird! That is so fucking weird. That is so fucking weird! <laughs> Damn, there we go! That's sick. Huh, you just, it's like you gotta get the right rhythm to get it to work right. Anyway, that's really weird. Yeah, it's like a fireball midair. It is like a fireball in there. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> it's really neat. Bruno Mas. Uno Mas Quick Draw Duel by Simplectic. Simplectic, by the way, is the creator of Laurel Does Everything Twice Twice. <laughs> yeah, Rex, though actually holding, holding jump does make you go a little bit higher in this, but only a little. The fuck is this? Um, do I wanna do this? Why did that happen? What happened? I don't know why that happened. I don't know what happened. <laughs> what did I do? I feel like I did it right, but I don't know why. It missed the first block and it hit the second block. I, I think I, I don't know if it just, let me see if it always does that, hold on. I need to figure out if it always does that. Or if I just like, yeah. Is this one of those like, I'm never gonna be able to do that again sort of things, or does it do that every time? What? What? I got lucky. <laughs> what is going? How did I do it? I got so lucky, dude. I got so lucky. What is going on? I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, that's the flagpole. So it's changing the flagpole, and that block at the bottom is like not a regular block. It's the flagpole block. So it's changing, and the Magic Koopas can make the flagpoles go away. And something about it, the Magic Koopa, when the Magic Koopa is dead, the flagpole comes back. But maybe when the Magic Koopa is dead, it can't ever hit the flag in the first place. But why was the the thing despawning sometimes? It's dude. <laughs> I there's more to it than that. I think because. It would have worked every time then if it was just like hit the pow and then it works. I don't know. That's weird. That's weird. Bruno Mas. P is for precise punch. Huh. So this one might need some precision. Is it just indestructible during the animation, Lilith? Okay. So what happened? So that does that. Oh, I can't get in that. Now I can't get in that, right? So... That's wrong. I can't, I can't ever get into that little tight gap. So I have to do this first. What? What? <laughs> What do I do? <laughs> that was my only idea. Um... I don't know what to do. You see there's like a second there before it changes? But would I ever be able to get there? What do I need to do here? Am I doing it right? Or, or do I just need to... Brain no work. <laughs> Brain no work. 
Do I need to fall? Wait, I think I get it. Wait, wait, I think I... Do I get it? Do I get it? I don't get it. <laughs> wait, I get it. It's that, right? I think I can get the coin and jump back. I think I get it, I think I get it. Is this it? This, this is the only thing that makes sense to me. So, okay, if I'm sitting right here, there's gonna be a point where this block I'm standing on turns into a coin, and maybe I can collect the coin and jump off of the block at the same time? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> what other block can you punch? Oh, I punched this block. I punched this block. Really? Really? Is it gonna, what? Wait, so it's, okay. When you hit a turn block and it has a regular coin above it, it collects the coin. So that must mean that you can push the block and then it, the other one above it turns into a coin. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Okay, so when I hit the bottom coin as a block, but then like mid-air, it like, they both turn into coins or something, the bottom one still collects the top one that had just turned into a coin. And now we can go through. Okay, that was... <laughs> that was a lot trickier. <laughs> that one was a lot trickier. Bruno Moss. Threat. Suppress. Threat. Suppress. Oh, baby. I'm assuming it's gonna be something like that. Uh. 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Have another idea, have another idea. What, are they despawning? Why are they despawning? What? <laughs> what do I want to do here? Wait, did I? I don't get what I did, other than destroy some pals. Why did the pals get destroyed? <laughs> I don't quite get what happened, but <laughs> do I like, if I had a POW down there still? Oh, okay, if the POWs ever go off. Oh, I get it, I get it. Jeez, I didn't even realize like, if you just throw the POWs, for instance, this, the launcher falls and you can't win. Or if you have any POWs left, like if I get rid of a bunch of these POWs, but then I have like this one left, and then when I hit that, you can't get through again like that. Okay, I just, I did it right on the first try without even knowing what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, so for whatever reason, yeah, the game doesn't like having POWs in the same place. Huh. That was your friendly neighborhood Uno Mas, brought to you by Macho Man. Bruno Mas. Yo, Uno Mas, Leaning Tower by Mr. Richden. Let's go. Also, where is, what am I doing? There we go. Well, um, oh! What? Will it lean more? Can I make it lean more? How do I make it lean more? Maybe if I put it up here? <laughs> How do I make it lean? Oh, I probably put it at the bottom, right? And then it leans all the way, maybe? And then it'll destroy the bomb? Nope. Nope. What did I do? I don't- What? I need to like put it- Oh! I get it. I have to like set it right there. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, it didn't blow up. Wasn't that maximum lean? What am- Oh no, I, need... I can do one more there? Yeah! <laughs> what the hell? So you can like- We can kind of wedge the pow in between each of the different cannons. <laughs> well, that's weird. All right, yeah, you have to do each step. What are your thoughts on each ball having its own separate sack instead of them being roommates? <laughs> Asking the real questions right here. 
Maximum lean. <laughs> that was really cool. Oh yeah, I keep, I keep calling him Mr. Richden, but I guess it's M. Richden. Richden. Mr. Richden. Bruno Mas. Uh, False Dichotomy by Symplectic. Let's go. Why are you stealing from Warp Bar? <laughs> I finally figured out how to change that. It, was only, it only took me like two and a half years. All right. Um, obviously I hold left. <laughs> what? What? False dichotomy. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So the dichotomy is left or right. So the false dichotomy is hold nothing? Is the false dichotomy hold nothing? Nope, that's not the false dichotomy. <laughs> what, other di what other option is there? I mean, we can try holding right, but I feel like that's bad. Bad news bears to hold right. Oh, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Got it. <laughs> Woo. Nice. Cool. It was sort of a false dichotomy, sort of not. Holding jump wasn't enough to do it, Rex. That's what I tried the first time. 0.69 second world record. Bruno Moss. Only white ones, that's interesting. Dizzy moonwalk. Wait, this isn't gonna actually have the dizzy effect, is it? Yeah, Mario goes through the floor. Okay, this looks more complicated. What happens when I hit this? I get the key. And then that's probably bad. That indeed appears to be probably bad. So what if we just do this first? Oh, then you can't go in the key door, and that is still gonna just wreck me like that. Dizzy moonwalk. Oh! Wait. Something to do with this boo, right? Okay, see, as long as I'm right here, the boo does not... Okay, this boo is gonna, like, crush the uh this boo if i start moving he's going to crush this bomb and if he crushes the bomb bad things happen cuz this thing this coin falls and drops the thing right there so i need to do the dizzy moonwalk which is this so as long as i'm spin jumping mario doesn't get he it's like his direction stays the same if i'm looking left and then i spin jump it's like i'm looking left the whole time so I was able to move this entire distance without ever looking the other direction. So now, I can go through the door. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's like, even though you're spinning and Mario's facing every direction, it doesn't ever count as him actually changing direction. Oh, these are nice, these are nice levels. Yeah, Vines and Cave keep the direction too. Yeah, you do have to, you have to um, re-push left before you, like, land on the ground, by the way. That wasn't clear. So, like, I'm jumping to the side, and then just before I land, I'm pushing backwards again. Well, that's it. See you guys. <laughs> Uno mas. Let's go. Child's play. Oh, it's the down trick. Because if I jump, if I just jump, there's no jump that you can do that's possible to do to get that. But just like in the original SMB3, when you hold down on these background textures, you'll do like a tiny little thing. Woo! This is a boop, tiny little boop. And it's enough to collect something just barely ahead of you like that. Hell yeah. I haven't had an Uno Moss high like this in a year. <laughs> Does anyone know why that's a thing? It's an Easter egg that's a throwback to the original Super Mario Bros. 3. Bruno Moss. Postponed launch. Oh, these are very new. Oh yeah. Post, okay, I thought it said postponed lunch. And I was like, what? <laughs> oh. Is this the cape trick? Is this the like cape storage trick? Or something else? Post, oh. Not mean to do what? I don't want to do that either. Z. I don't think I got the cape speed. Is it like this? It was. I'm bad. I did it and I'm... Wait, no. Did I do it? How do you do it? Maybe I'm bad. Is this the one with the... Where you spin? Or something else? And I'm bad. Not sure if bad or... Have right idea. 
don't have right idea. <laughs> don't have right idea. <laughs> okay, wait. Postponed launch. Does it have something? Oh wait, I think I get it. I have an idea anyway. Maybe? No, I don't know. Is it something to do with the vines? I wonder if it's something to do with the vines. I I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it is it is spam second. Is it spam second run button? I know about that one. I tried doing it, but I didn't do it right, I guess. Wait, how do I, do I wanna just, I wanna go off the edge, I think, right? Why did I grab that? Please don't do this to me, Vine. These, are the vines useful for this or not? Stop grabbing the vines! Eh, 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 I don't, wait, no, I am doing it, I am doing it, wait. How do I then? It, how do I do it at the end? I think I actually was doing it. I saw the animation for a second. Okay, am I? I forget exactly how you do this. Oh, that was it! No! Damn it! That was actually it. That actually was it. I don't know how to. I just use the other jump, maybe. Okay. So basically, once if you spam cape spin like this, then you can keep your cape jump like that. But I think I need to push Z instead of... Oh my god, there it is. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, yeah, yeah, I need to push Z at the end and not regular jump. So basically, like, if you run, and while you're running, you just keep spamming cape spin, but with the other, basically you spam the other run button. So I'm like, I'm holding one button down for run, but then I'm spamming the other one um, for cape spin, it like never gets rid of the fact that you can take off with the cape, which is, <laughs> which is weird. Very weird. Bruno Mars. Dancing in the sky. By Macho Man. Why are you stealing from Warp Bar, everybody? Yeah, thanks, Fatito. Um, what's this called? Dancing in the sky. Okay, there's my dance. That was my beautiful dance. That's all I had. That was all I had. How... How do I do this? <laughs> I tried dancing, motherfucker. Wait, what does it want me to do? Do I have any hints here? Dancing in the sky. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You can get all sorts of different heights based on like how far it goes down. Is there like, I'm trying to think, is there like a perfect height? This game makes no sense, dude. <laughs> this game makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> Obviously that's how, that's how I would design it too. Makes sense to me. I literally just, this was my strategy. <laughs> I just pushed all the buttons. Yeah, it, was it a single frame roll? Like, it was definitely very, um, it was definitely very precise. God, world record. Who gets that on the first try? Fuck that. <laughs> Wait, get true ending now? What's true ending? What's true ending? Hold on, what was the true ending? Yo, let's go. Oh, it's true ending. How do you get those? Oh, is it a duck jump? Dude, fuck that. <laughs> maybe you push, maybe, I've got an idea. Maybe you push jump while you already have jump held, and that's how you do it? Hmm. Hold on, I want to test this. Maybe if I, if I hold one jump button, and then I hit the other. Now that I didn't do it. Two jump buttons. Two jump buttons. Four jump buttons. <laughs> if I push all four jump buttons at the same time, how the fuck do you get these, by the way? Oh, do you have to, like... No, I don't know how the fuck you get those. I have no idea how the fuck you get those. How the f oh, there's a... There's a fucking thing back there. Press B, then R. Yeah, but it's not... Is, is, is the spin... Is the spin the highest jump? Like, is it... Do you have to have the spin to get the highest jump? It's kind of weird. Bruno Mars. Adults play? Oh! It's the double pipe trick, I bet. So, 
I think I played a puzzle level recently with this. So, okay, I, if I go in the bottom pipe, I'm fucked. But if I collect the mushroom wall underneath this, it actually put- I'm actually went into the top pipe. So yeah, like, come out- you come out another pipe if you hold up while you collect the mushroom, and there's like a stacked pipe like that. <laughs> cool tricks. I love levels like this because it shows off all these cool little tricks that you can then, like, take and make other interesting levels done. Yeah, it was in the uh, mansion escape. That's right. All right, well, surely I'm gonna actually not know how to do these at some point, so. <laughs> Bruno Moss. All right, powerful head. Okay. Oh, that doesn't, okay. So if I'm holding the POW and I go up there, by the way, behind the webcam is just doors. If I'm holding the POW and I go up there, then I get, I hit the hidden block and I can't get through. But if I'm assuming, oh, that doesn't work. You can't bounce a powerful head. You can't bounce it on your, wait, you've gotta be able to bounce it on your head. Maybe it's when you're not moving. Well, fuck you too. Okay, wait, what if we get like all the way up here? Okay, oh, so I have to, okay, I get it. I have to move up a little bit and then stop. Move up a little bit and then stop. Because if I touch the pow while I'm climbing, it still will blow up the pow. Okay, so we have to just kind of do it like that. Cool. Okay, and I think it's gonna stop right there. Yeah, and then I should just be able to like sneak over here, do the thing. Okay, and then I can put it there. Oh, okay. And it gives me a P-switch. Nice. Hell yeah. Puzzling good in the neighborhood. You can do it without water physics, but it's incredibly hard. Yeah, that sounds crazy without um, water physics. Who made your profile pic? Um, Zeratul Lotus. Yeah, that sounds like, it sounds like actual terrible cancer. If it weren't, uh, if it weren't a water level. Bruno Moss. One more for the road. We've got another Macho Man level. Collateral, Colonel Lateral Height. <laughs> huh, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Is this one of these? Is this one of, I think I already know this one. Is it like a, is it like a, I think like this. I gotta throw it a little sooner. There it is, woo! I know how to do that one. So for some reason when you throw it against the wall like that, you get a higher jump than just with the spring jump. At least I remember something like that. It's kinda neat. Easy, lateral height. So it's called lateral because you throw the spring laterally, I think, is the idea there. It's kind of a Kaiser trick. Bruno Moss. Okay, so a lot of people in my Discord have been submitting these Uno Moss material levels, um, which is cool. All right, this is Uno Mas material. What the munch by Cooper King. A magician declared he would disappear on the count of three. <laughs> Uno, dos, poof, and he disappeared without a trace. Oh God, love it. Oh, this is, so this is gonna be the munch or teleporting glitch, but how's it gonna work? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's just the munch or teleporting glitch. It's just the munch or teleporting glitch. <clears throat> yes, pre-screened viewer levels. Well, that wasn't too much of a Nuno Moss. We're gonna have to play. We're gonna have to play one more. Pretty sure that's how it works. The muncher jumps at light speed to the lowest possible solid, not semi-solid, and has collision before it gets to the bottom. Um, but didn't know it has collision. Well, why doesn't it go to like it's? I've seen it. I've seen it teleport below a level, even though there's a gap in the middle. So I don't think it necessarily teleports like to the first open spot. There's got to be, it might be like the length of the launcher from the thing. There's some other variable in there. Yeah, that was a, um, that was a cool level. If that, if I had seen that level like three months ago before we discovered that glitch, that would have been like the most mind blowing level, but <laughs> we've already spent a long time exploring that glitch. <laughs> Never scare a magician. He will shit your pants. <laughs> Bruno Moss. All right. Ouchie bypass. So you have to get hit to get past something, I guess. That's the problem. Oh, really? Is that gonna work? I think I know what's gonna happen. Help! Um, but I don't want the star, do I? Or do I want the star? What 
What's the... <laughs> okay, you have to like cling to the wall. I Hold on, I wanna try it again. I think it would have worked with the star. Okay, so this has to do with, I guess, the wall slide mechanic of New Super Mario Bros. I don't think this would work in something other than New Soup. You have to like, yeah, 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 yeah. So if you like grip the wall and slide down the entire time, then it just thinks, it like, you just, I don't know, you don't, you don't go far enough forward to ever get past the one way or something. It's kind of weird. It works in other styles. Oh, interesting. So it's just doing a really quick turnaround. I thought that, well, Fly, I knew that worked if, um, if you were standing directly above the one way. I didn't know it worked if you stacked a whole bunch of stuff on top of the one way. In fact, I thought it didn't work if you stacked a bunch of stuff on top of the one way. Um, unless it has something to do with like the spikes or something, because spike hitboxes are don't, at least to me, don't seem like the same. Bruno Moss. Okay, we're gonna do <laughs> the princess and the peace switch. Sorry, let's go. The princess and the peace switch. The princess and the penis. No, that's not what it was. That's not what it was. All right, it's it's raining stars, shooting stars. How beautiful for a princess. Is that like a bed? Is that a bed? Is this like the bed? Hidden Garbo! Okay, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. So, Prince, Princess Peach is sleeping, I think. I'm pretty sure that Princess Peach is like, maybe she like has a nightmare, or maybe she can't sleep, I don't know. Now, now we cut back, cut back to Mario. Okay. Mario gets a phone call? Question mark? We got a little table, we got a little chair. Can I go in any of these pipes? Okay. Alright, Mario's a busy bee, let's go. Hey, Jessica. Uh, okay, Mario is driving to work or something, question mark. <laughs> Do I want those fire flowers? I don't think so. Okay. All right, just another day driving to work with Mario. I know how it is, bruh. All right, this is a very epic story. Okay, we're back home again. We're back home again. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, we're back home. All right, Mario Mario went to work and came home or something. All right, Princess Peach, are you still struggling to sleep? You are still struggling to sleep. All right, got it. Wait, what? What the fuck? I'm so confused if I'm actually... What, it's just, <laughs> wait. Holy shit, Mario, what- Mario, what happened?! Oh, wait just a second. Holy shit, I wasn't paying any attention, didn't realize this suddenly got very- very, very scary. What is that? There's like a P-switch down there? Okay, so not only Mario's work is a lot, a lot more intense. Is that bullet gonna fuck me? That bullet's gonna fuck me. Don't get fucked by the bullet. Okay. Alright. Nice. Mario, you need to get a new line of work. It's the princess and the pea? I don't even know if I know that story. I can't tell if I'm going in circles. Also, this is like a metaphor on life. Life is just going in circles. The princess and the pea story? I don't even know what that is. Dang it, I haven't... She's having nightmares of Mario's adventure. Oh, interesting. I Unfortunately, I've never heard, I've never heard that one. Okay. Princess Peach is having nightmares about Mario. I get it. It wasn't so it wasn't cutting back to Mario. It was this is her dream. Okay. We're playing out her dream. I get it. Ooh, bad idea. So this makes it more interesting to me, maybe because I don't know what's gonna happen at the end. <laughs> it's about the princess that could. What? I missed the end of that. Um, but there's a princess that could feel a pee under like 10 mattresses. What? Oh, did I? I didn't go fast enough. That's what I get for reading. Lesson learned, never read anything written by Kievik. 
Princess has a single pee under a bunch of mattresses and she can't sleep because of it? What a story! <laughs> what, a, what a compelling story! <laughs> so this is like the ever-increasing stack of mattresses right here, or what? <laughs> like, what's this? There's supposed to be some relationship. Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale. Hmm. I've read a lot of fairy tales. I don't know how I missed this one. And at one point, I like... You guys ever read like the original Grimm's fairy tales? That shit was like... <laughs> that shit was fucked up. <laughs> Alright, we... Alright. Oh, we removed the P! Oh my gosh! Wait, we removed the P! Like, the P switch, but the P? The princess of the P? Oh my god, alright, I get it now. I get it, I get the idea. I did not get the relationship between the P and the P switch. Alright, that was kinda cool. The princess and the P switch. <laughs> that was really cool. I wish that I had known the story, but... Hey. Now I got the, now I got to experience it for the first time, enacted out for me live by Mario and Peach. How does that UI that shows the level name creator work? Oh, that's called the warp bar. So if you go to warp.world in your browser, it'll take you to the page made by a very cool dude named Jaku who designed the warp bar. It's really easy to use. There's a little tutorial for it. You just link it with your Twitch and it pretty much works.